I've always hated face powders for the following reasons. They make me look cakey, crepey, powdery, old, dry as crap, and I just never really liked them. So I recently found one that is just blowing my freaking mind and I want to buy like one for every room, one for the car, one for work. And um, I'm going to talk about it last though. So I have six to talk about. We'll start with my least favorite to my absolute favorite. And I just recently bought that Benefit The Real Mascara and I forgot how amazing it is. Look at it. I love it. I love it so much. Anyway, the first one I want to talk about, which I can't find anything I like about this powder. It's the Laura Mercier uh, Loose Setting Powder. Shocker, I know that it's on the bottom of the list, but this is terrible. It's so bad and I wanted to like it so much. It has a smell of CoverGirl. Like it smells like CoverGirl powder products. It's not bad. I don't know why I just made that face, but it's not a bad smell. It's just something to note. This is not for dry skin. It's not even for normal skin. I think really only oily skin could use this. I have normal skin and this just will find every single drop of moisture in your skin and just suck, suck it out and you look terrible. My under eyes, I when I use this, like they look the driest they've ever been in my entire life. I've never seen my under eyes look so terrible. I've used this with a brush, with a sponge, with a damp sponge, with my fingers, the buffing technique, the baking technique. Nothing works with this powder. I really don't like it. I'm glad I only got the small size because it is, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. I, I, I don't know, I just can't use it. And maybe it's just because I don't have oily skin, but it doesn't work for me. Uh, the next one that is, almost on that same uh, level is the Stellar Cosmic Face Powder in the shade Haze. I think they have different scents, uh, different scents, different shades of this. Pfft, ugh. This powder, I swear I can taste it. When you open it, there's like puffs and vapors that go everywhere. This is like a pink. It has like a weird pink undertone to it. Ugh. Pfft. It just goes everywhere. It's really, really, really fine. It feels almost like cornstarch and it has like a weird pink undertone to it and it's so white. This has a lot of flashback when you're not even doing photography. Just from natural light, you look white as a ghost. It's over mattifying. This is also one I don't think is meant for my skin type. Um, it's over mattifying. It cancels out everything you put on. If you had bronzer, blush, highlight, it's going to just disappear. So. Maybe if you have really oily skin, but for my skin type, this does not work. I just don't like anything about it. Um, the two worst ones are out of the way. Let me talk about some ones that I actually like now. And so this is one from Japanesque. It's the Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. I keep this one in my bag, with, also with this little travel size Real Techniques brush. This is one of those powders, the first time I ever used it, it's one of those powders that made me realize powders aren't all bad. So another thing I really hate about powders is they settle on your peach fuzz and make it look like you have a freaking Santa Claus beard. And I hate that look, obviously. And this powder is amazing. This feels like rice flour, like super silky, smooth, just awesome. And when you touch up with it, I kind of just use this little brush here and I kind of just pat it on my face. And it's not one of those powders that's so mattifying that you can tell you're wearing it. You know like a powder when you get it and you press it on your oily spots and all of a sudden you have this obviously mattified spot here and the rest is like super dewy and it looks obviously and weird. Obviously weird. This doesn't do that. This is really awesome. I wish Japanesque was an easier to find brand because I cannot find this anywhere. And I would love to buy this in a bigger size because this is awesome. This is a really great powder. It doesn't have any color to it. It truly is translucent. It absorbs oil but not in a gross way. I always thought putting powder on top of oily skin was yucky, but this this changed my mind. This made me want to try other powders, and this is great. Um, these next two, I struggled with which order to put them in because they're both really good. But I think this is going to be the next one. So my number three pick, or number three in my top three, is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Press Bye Bye Pores Press Translucent Powder, and I have it in the uh, Je ne sais quoi palette. I could swear there was dimethicone in this powder, but there isn't. It feels like there's dimethicone in it. It has this amazing texture to it. It is very white though. And the brush I like to use with it is the Eco Tools uh, Full Powder Brush. 
looks like this super plush it looks really soft and it feels real soft but if you use it like this like I do it kind of pokes a little bit but anyway I just dab it in there and as you can see it is very white so if you overuse it I'm not even gonna put it on right now it's gonna do it's gonna have a white cast to it if you overdo it but I think this is awesome for setting in your makeup for maybe touching up throughout the day if you're feeling a little oily it's not gonna over mattify your face but um, it's a really great powder it does kind of have a blurring effect on your pores and stuff but it's not it's not that amazing but it is a really great powder it does have a white uh, cast to it so don't overdo it but that one's really really good and I could swear there was dimethicone in it because it has a really nice feel to it but it's a mica silica powder but it doesn't feel like a silica powder like the cell the stellar one here silica and I hate it but that one that one's different there's something special about that one um, the number two pick is the Maybelline Soup Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder looks like this I love using this with the same brush this is a great one this is just a great compact in general it looks just like this it has a big old giant mirror here and then the powder on the bottom it came with a sponge like a small square sponge that I used up kind of just didn't really care to keep it you're supposed to get the powder press get the sponge press it in the powder and press it into your face which is how I used to use it but now I kind of like it with this brush. These do come in different shades, and I think that's why I picked this one over the It Cosmetics for my number two, because there are a few different shade tones of this one to choose from. This one I do the same. As you can see, there is a lot of color to it, so don't overdo it. But this powder is so good. It doesn't settle into your fine lines. It doesn't over dry. It doesn't over mattify. It doesn't overdo your peach fuzz. This is a great powder. I love it. Um... Oh, it's so good. It's super smooth and silky. It does say it's at, it has salicylic acid in it, which is why they call it skin transforming. I kind of think of this one in the way of if a powder has SPF in it. Like, are you really using as much powder as you need to get the benefits from the SPF? I kind of think of this one in that way. Like, are you really using that much to get a benefit from the salicylic acid? But the salicylic acid doesn't interfere with the texture of the powder at all. This, this one is awesome. Like, this is... This is a really, really, really good one. I highly recommend it. And this one's a lot easier to find, too, than the Japanesque, which is another favorite, but it's hard to find. And now, oh my god, the best powder ever. This was on my wish list for so long. It's from Milani. It's the Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. Oh my god, it's amazing. This is the powder. If you hate, pow if you hate powders altogether, this will change your mind. It's not... I was going to say it's not mattifying, but it does tone down the shine and oil in your face without overdoing it. And I know I kind of said that about some of these other powders, but this one, there's something special in this powder because if you look closely at it, it doesn't look like there's any sheen or shine to it. But when you put it on, it just has this weird blurring, velvety effect on your face. And when I saw that it was called Illuminating Transparent Powder, I thought it was going to be like too highlighty all over the face. But I finally bought it and used it and... It's awesome. It's so awesome. I love to use this with the Circa powder brush. It looks like this. This brush is super soft. I kind of just dab it in there like this. And it's really, really pressed in there so you don't get any kick up whatsoever. The brush and the, the powder, powder on the brush looks like this. And I just love to set makeup with this, which is nothing I ever liked to do. I love to touch up with this throughout the day. I love the effect it gives to my skin. It kind of like blurs everything, makes it look velvety and soft and smooth, tones down the shine without overdoing it, gives you some of that shine still, but this, there is something magical in this powder. I absolutely freaking love it. Um, I'm so glad I got it. It says it's the shade 02, so I don't know if there's other shades or not, but this was the only one available, and this is awesome. If you hate face powders and they, they just don't look right on your skin, try this one. Try this one. This one's awesome. Anyway, that's all I got. That's all I got for you. All my favorite powders for people that hate face powders. See you in another video. Goodbye.